Uh, I was originally trained as a probabilist. After seven years working as probabilist, I decided it wasn't my thing. And with an optimism of youth, decided to go into consulting. And we began growing trees all over the place for air pollution studies, for uh, classification of uh, toxic compounds and so on. Everything, every, everything we did, we put in and the, for the contract, the RFP, we're going to use trees. Okay, so by this time, I was getting pretty overwhelmed with consulting work. And so I suggest bring Chuck Stone, who was a probabilist at that time at UCLA on board. So Chuck came on board, and I think it was for about two years, we had a, a very exciting interchange because Chuck began, became really intrigued with I, this tree idea, and it's wonderful, another probabilist who sees the use of trees. And so we wrote tech reports back and forth and so on. And then we were working on this problem of how do you know when to stop splitting a node? And that was a very... We tried all sorts of things, and we found nothing was satisfactory. And finally, we found a solution that really worked, and that was the idea of growing the tree out to its full size and using optimal pruning and cross-validation to get the best pruned subtree. And we wrote a tech report on that, but I want to say now publicly, Chuck, to give credit when credit was due, most of the ideas in that tech report uh, were due to Chuck. Then in 1976, I went into an interface meeting in Los Angeles, and there was this bushy-haired guy talking about recursive partitioning. And I said to myself, by God, he's talking trees. And sure enough, that was Jerry Friedman giving his talk of uh, Okay, so we're all working together, and then Jerry and I and um, Chuck began talking about uh, collaborative effort to really flesh out tree structured. And at that point, uh, we thought of Richard Olchin, who's a friend of Chuck's, who had also worked with Jerry on analyzing medical data using trees, and we thought he would be the perfect fourth person for our combine, so BFOS was born. I want to say in closing that uh, in retrospect, it's interesting to me looking back that CART was born very much outside of the mainstream of statistics. Uh, first by Jerry, a high energy particle physicist responsible for data analysis at SLAC, and myself, a fallen away probabilist and consultant what we have common was the goal of using data to solve problems. Later came Chuck, another probabilist, and Richard, a biostatistician with a focus of using innovative methods to analyze medical data. Thank you.